Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We thought today that we would show and share with you the seeds that we uh, bought for this year's garden. It's just about the time of year, this time of year, when we start thinking and planning when we're going to uh, start our seeds and really getting into dreaming of what we're going to do in the garden because we both love the garden and we're looking really forward to spring. Right now there's quite a few feet of snow outside so spring gives us hope. So we ordered uh, seeds in early January uh, from a few different places. Uh, there's lots of places out there that you can order from and there's a lot of people that um, we've asked they've ordered seeds and some have had difficulty getting seeds, uh, some haven't. I don't know that we had a, a real big difficult time, do you? I don't know that we had anything that we couldn't get. Yeah, I think there was a few, maybe if we couldn't get something at one place, we did find it somewhere else. So that made it good. And, and there's so many places that you can get seeds. Um, our local Walmart has a huge supply of seeds like so much more than I've ever seen them carry and there's we get all kinds of catalogs in the mail from several different seed companies and so there's lots of places to go you can order online um, check all the different places because um, like I said if you can't get them in one place somebody else might have them and price check everywhere because the prices were very different in different places so I'll let uh, my husband Joe tell you where we got our stuff. And This year we're trying a couple uh, new companies. Uh, one of them that we placed our biggest order with was Seeds and Such. And they're located in Graniteville, South Carolina. Um, I think we're going to be happy with their mm -hmm. seeds. Uh, we can tell you a little better this fall after after harvest. Another company uh, that we're trying this year out of Maine, where we're from here, is Pine Tree Garden and Seed Accessories. Um, we've never ordered from them, but yeah. we're New, trying them out. New Gloucester, Maine. Not sure what that is. And of course, uh, we've ordered from Baker Creek in, in the past and we ordered some stuff from them this year. They're very good, they're reputable, and we've always had good luck with them. Yeah, they have some really nice seeds. So I wrote some notes here so that we could kind of cover everything that we were thinking to cover so we can make sure and share all of our information with you. Um, some of these packages of seeds have come and we haven't opened them yet because we were saving this to open up uh, in front of you guys. So some we have though, we get really anxious. <laughs> and some we forgot what we ordered where. And uh, so we just kind of opened them up and looked through to make sure and just organize everything. So uh, This package of kohlrabi, I just stuck those in. We bought these at Walmart. So these didn't come from which company uh, from, is this? These here are from the pine tree garden seeds out of Maine. Uh, we have Swiss chard, bright lights, uh, sweet peppers, king of the north. They're supposed to be a good pepper for growing up in this northern climate. Um, black beauty eggplant. We've never planted this in the past. We're going to attempt it this year and see how that does. We like eggplant and they're very good for you. Um, this is a new one here for us. Winter squash. It's called sweet meat. It's a different type of a squash that we've never grown before. We're going to try those out and we can let you know in the fall how they do. Yeah, this I'm really anxious for because we both love our squash. So. Another one uh, from Pine Tree is Swiss Chard, and that's uh, the name of its Cardinal. I don't believe we've ever grown that particular type before, but we can let you know how that does. 
and we have some dill I'm not sure how you pronounce that Ducat strain Ducat strain I don't know either I, I couldn't even tell you what kind we grew this year um, it grew well but we just didn't have enough of it and um, we make our own pickles so dill is nice to have so another company that seeds and such we get looks like quite a few we haven't opened this one yet so I can't remember what we ordered through this company do you I don't know but there's quite a few different yeah it's always fun to get a package in the mail and it's always fun to plan your garden Pour these out. What a few! Look at this. It's just like Christmas. Okay, our first. I'm gonna go through these. Mm -hmm. That's everything that we ordered right there. It's just a list. Several different seeds. Some of these are small packets and. A lot of small packets and then we have that big packet it's quite a few seeds um, we have ruby perfection hybrid cabbage danvers half long carrots uh, german winter herb thyme uh, we have basil yeah um I'm not sure what uh Lacento? I'm not, I'm not sure, sure what, what that one is. We'll have to look through. Maybe it'd be easier to look through the packets. Um we have some thyme, um, some squash, some lettuce. We did butter crunch lettuce last year for the first time. I don't think we've ever grown butter crunch lettuce. And that was the best lettuce. We ate that all summer. It was so good. I had contemplated growing it in the house this winter because we ate so much of it. It grew really well, did really well. It was the best tasting lettuce. So uh, we're going to grow that again this year. Arugula. We didn't grow enough arugula last mm -hmm. year. That That's really good, but we just didn't have enough of it. We really babied what we had um, last year uh, and tried to stretch it as far as we could. Um, we have cabbage. We have uh, cherry tomatoes. That's something that we've never done. I don't yeah, think it's been quite it's, a while. Yeah, we have years, years back. And uh, unicorn tomato. I'm not sure what that is. Do you know what that is? I don't unicorn know if that was tomato. one of the free ones that they sent us. It could have been. That's the thing. When you order from this, um, these companies, they, yes. depending on what, um, depending on what you order, uh, how much you order, they'll send you free packets of seeds. So that's always nice. So that'll be a different one that we've never tried before. Um, we do have the big boy tomato, which we've done several times. Or is it best boy? Best boy. Best boy. I think that was the one that. But uh, are those uh, steak? like tomatoes or a larger tomato I'm not sure what. there is quite a bit here there's some sage which my sage didn't do really well last year but I think it's where I put it so I need to put it in more of a shady spot I think I had it right in full sun and it didn't do well basil did an amazing job we did plant um, we do a lot of companion planting so the basil went right in with the tomatoes and they do really well together. Uh, they fight different pests, you know, one helps the other one and uh, they just taste really good when you, <laughs> you can make a lot of things with them. Um, and uh, we like those, so those did really well. And we have zucchini and this is just a, a big bunch of seeds we have from seeds and such bush beans. It's a really big bag of bush beans as well. Looks like we might be expanding. 
when you, it's like a kid in a candy store. When you start watering your seeds, you're literally thinking, oh, we've got to have this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We've got to get this one. And what about this? We could try this. That's a lot of fun when you're doing this. And, and uh, seeds are definitely our candy store. Okay, what company is this one? It's from Baker Creek. Baker Creek. Okay, this is a really great company to order from. They have heirloom seeds, and uh, we really enjoy everything we get from them. This is some more lettuce and kale. This is some red lettuce. It's outdredges, and uh, that's a really good lettuce. We got. We did do some of that last year. And the kale. This is a little bit different than what we've done before. We've usually done dinosaur kale. I love kale. I don't know that you were a really big kale person in the beginning. I don't know that he's really tried a lot of it. But last year we did grow two different kinds. I'm not sure what one of them was. Um, and the other was dinosaur kale. And we ate so much kale. We loved it. This next package is from Amazon, and it's Thai basil and lemongrass. These are a bit expensive to order if you're just ordering like lemongrass or the basil. You can you can order them from Amazon. I don't know if they're fresh or freeze dried or how dried or I don't know how they come, but I know you can order them. Um, and he likes to cook a lot of Thai food, so growing this ourselves will uh, be a big game changer for us. And I think hopefully it will do well in our area. We are in zone four, so it's a uh, we don't have a really long growing season. Oh, that's your bird. That, one. that one's the, okay. So we also saved a lot of seeds from last year, um, which we do a lot of our seeds, uh, save them, mostly the squash and like the cucumber seeds and stuff like that we usually save. This year I think we saved a little bit more than just those though, but we are definitely going to have a lot of squash. Here we have a big bag of spaghetti squash. We enjoy spaghetti squash. Make a nice spaghetti sauce and put over that. That's that's very good. Um, this is some of one of our buttercup squash that we saved the seeds from. This here. Um, where did we get the squash? I think your dad. Dad gave it to us, but my sister gave it to him. It's called Heart of Gold Festival Carnival Squash. It's a small squash, but it was tasty. It looked something like an acorn, but it was not. I'd never seen them before, but we're going to try growing some. We took the seeds out of it. And it's the size we'll of a, what, a large apple, I'd say? A softball, probably. Yeah, it was, it was very good. Um, so we just thought we'd save the seeds and grow some. These uh, came from our Roma tomato plants. We had a beautiful crop of mm. Romas. Um, believe it or not, the year before I took a bunch of seeds out of Roma tomatoes we'd bought at the supermarket and dried them out and I planted them and they came great. We set them out in our in our beds and they did amazing. Um, yeah, we were, we we weren't sure if we would get tomato plants from them or not, but they were loaded. Yeah, I mean, loaded. A heck of a crop. So hopefully we'll have the same this year. Uh, Calendula. These are hers, so I can let you. Talk. Yep. <laughs> These are I. I grew uh, along with in our raised beds, along with a lot of our stuff. I always like to grow um, 
What are those flowers called that I can never remember the name of? Marigolds? Yeah, marigolds. I always like to grow marigolds because they're really good at um, keeping pests away uh, from different um, vegetables in your garden. And so I grow those in each one of the beds somewhere. And I also grew calendula. And calendula is really good in a lot of things. It's good for tea. Um, it's good in salads. It's good to keep pests away from other vegetables and they're really pretty. So we saved seeds from those and um, we're going to plant those again this year. So I don't have to, I bought the seeds for, for them last year and I don't have to buy the seeds ever again. I can just keep collecting seeds and that's saving money. Here I have some tomato seeds. Um, I'm not sure the name of them. But we have some Amish people that live up north of us here, and we're friends with them. And they gave us some huge tomatoes. I know they start them they in the greenhouse, huge. but they were big. They were huge. So we decided to take some of the seeds out of those, and we're going to see if we can plant those and get some of those big tomatoes, hopefully. These here are some green pepper seeds that... Uh, they're from my dad's green pepper that he grew last year, 2020 crop. Hopefully we'll have good luck with those. Uh, these here are red romaine lettuce seeds. And these are from our garden. We hope they do well. We're going to try them and see. Yeah, they're just a little fine little seed. Um... I just let as much go to seed as I could in our garden and collected everything I could. Now last year, I will say, towards the end of the year, we did have a bit of a challenge in our garden because it was a who's going to get it first challenge between us and our son's sheep that kept escaping from the pasture and raiding our garden. So. We harvest a lot of things a little bit earlier than we would have normally because Fergus was harvesting <laughs> when we weren't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this year hopefully we won't have that issue. Fergus is gone, but uh, hopefully there won't be anybody to replace him. These are some marigold. Uh, I just dried the flower itself and... Uh, we can open that up and there's seeds all through these. And like I said, I bought the seeds the first year and I will never have to buy seeds again because I've got these over and over and over again. And I mean, there's a lot of seeds in each one of these. Um, more green pepper seeds. More of our buttercup squash seeds from our last year's crop. And again, more buttercup. We're going to have squash coming out our ears. <laughs> I'm going to plant it all, too. I, I just, I, I want it all. We can share. Um, we have a few green bean seeds here. Um, I thought we'd get a lot more, but for some reason, a lot of them dried up into nothing. They, I don't know why, but they didn't amount to anything, so there weren't any good... They were not any good for seed. And I'm not sure what the name of them. Do you remember the name of those ones? I'm not sure either. But um, maybe it was just the, that kind didn't do well here. Um, these are another flower that actually is in with these, but they didn't go in the garden. So it's just a Leatrice. They're a really pretty flower. They're like a, a long... A long skinny like a, a stick like with a big poof on it almost like a cattail but they're beautiful purple those go in my flower bed these are peas oh I thought they were summer savory it's no. what it says on the top <laughs> no these I, are uh, kinda... I've got an old lid on the top of them but these are peas we actually do have more than just these for peas but um I don't know, we had harvested them at different times, I guess, and this is where some of the seeds went. But we do have a few more we seeds got, for... We got some down in the cellar that we brought in right on the bush. We let them dry. Right on the vine. And yeah. On the vine, and we're going to let them, uh, we're going to thrash them and 
see if we can get a few seeds more from there. Um, we have some pea seeds here also that my dad gave me last year. We didn't plant them all. We didn't have a big area for our peas, but maybe we'll do something bigger this year. Um, I have some squash seeds here that my sister, uh, from a squash my sister gave my dad. They live down in Bethel, Maine. Um, apparently these squash, they grow a lot of them down in that area. I don't know that they grow them up here and I don't know the name of them, but um, I forget even what they look like, but we're going to grow them and try them and see what they are. It's always fun to adventure out and try something different. But that's, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of seeds here. So we have some big plants. We've got our work cut out for us. <laughs> so wanted to talk to you a little bit about <clears throat> last year versus this year. Um, what would you do different? What do you think? Because last year, if you haven't seen um, our video from last year, it was our first year with raised beds. We had done raised beds several years ago at our previous home and we liked them. So last year, the beds that we had made, which I have a video for, if you had not seen it, have not seen it, I can link it above and you can go back and watch that. It's a two-part series and um, it'll show you the design and different things that we did, how we did it probably different from a lot of people, I think. I kind of did it more of a from a design standpoint. I wanted it to not just be functional, but I wanted it to, to really look good as well. So you can go look at uh, those videos and we were really happy with them. They were a lot of fun building. It didn't take us long. Um, we ordered no. cedar from a cedar mill down not too far from us here. Um, we put them together quite quickly. We threw a lot of compostable material. Like um, pieces of old rotten trees and things to fill them up in the bottom, yes. which will compost eventually. Yeah, you can go see all of our, uh, you know, the procedure, how we did everything and everything, you know, we walk you through it all in, in the video. Um, I think that we were extremely satisfied with them. They exceeded our expectations. Um, we had so much fun watching everything grow in there. I mean, we truly had a lot of fun watching them. It's great every day, every morning, getting up and going out and seeing how much more yeah. your garden is growing. It just, it's a good feeling. Yeah. And it, I mean, your hard work, you're seeing your hard work pay off and, and the weeds were easy to keep up with and... Much easier than planting in the mm -hmm. ground for some reason. It... Yeah. So I think uh, we filled you in on all the seeds, the many, many seeds, and we are going to be starting a lot of these as soon as we can because some of them are 70 to 100 days. I think they take quite a while and we don't really have a really long growing a, season. A short, very short growing season here. Yeah, and uh, you know, frost hits quickly, um, so we do need to start them inside. So we'll be doing that and then transplanting them later on. So we'll bring you with us when uh, we start all of that. And uh, we just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that below. And leave us a comment, let us know an onion secret. <laughs> Until next time.